GoPro Karma and DJI Mavic Pro, two really big companies have released two really big products in the past few weeks. GoPro, an action camera company, well, the action camera company that everyone knows, has released their first drone. GoPro Karma is one of the only quadcopters readily available today that boasts the ability to fold. Until this morning, when the DJI Mavic was released. Both these quadcopters feature a gimbal pushed towards the front. Foldable arms, a 4K camera, stabilization between both gimbals seems very similar. In fact, there's really a lot similar between the two drones. Both these drones go around 40 miles an hour. Neither of them are waterproof, which I've kind of been hoping someone will release a waterproof drone later in the future, but that's for another day. And they both have specialized flight modes, like Orbit and Cable Cam and Drony and whatnot. However, the GoPro Karma does not have a follow me mode, which in this day and age is a feature that I really would have been expecting. They've both got their takeoff and land button, and they both return to home. Now DJI has their DJI Go app, and GoPro has their GoPro Cloud app. These apps are very similar. It's kind of like mobile cloud storage and editing software. So the video you take, you can edit on your phone and post online. Both these apps seem pretty similar. However, it seems like GoPro's app is a little bit more advanced in the editing. Now that we've talked about some of the similarities, let's talk about some of the key differences between the DJI Mavic and the GoPro Karma. First of all, the DJI Mavic has a 27 minute flight time. 27 minutes sounds pretty crazy for a machine just around this size. The GoPro Karma only features around a 20 minute flight time. The DJI Mavic, as I mentioned earlier, has follow me capabilities. There are two different modes actually. One of these modes uses the cameras and sensors on the drone itself to track a physical person without a bracelet, without a watch, without a phone or without a transmitter or anything. The other mode tracks the phone in the remote controller and follows that. The DJI Mavic has 4.3 miles of range, whereas the GoPro Karma only has around one kilometer of range. The DJI Mavic has four vision sensors. By vision, they mean sonar and ultrasound. And what these sensors allow is the ability to detect and avoid obstacles. Now that's a pretty next level if you ask me. Mavic also boasts the ability to fly the drone just via your phone without the transmitter. You won't have the same range, but you can still fly it and get the shot you need if you're in a rush or you just don't want to pull your remote out of your bag. Now, along with the Mavic, DJI has released their own VR headset, kind of a uh, first person view or FPV headset that you can use to fly your drone. Now, a few things I'm worried about is one, the latency with that headset. If you've ever flown any DJI quadcopters before, the latency between inputting something in the control sticks and the quadcopter actually moving from the screen point of view is a little bit too much for very fast decision making and flying. Now, if the latency is the same in the headset, sure the experience will be immersive, but if you push forward and the quadcopter goes forward a second later, or even worse, if you push back trying to avoid something and it doesn't go back in time, that could be a problem. Another thing I'm worried about is the promo video seems to show a see-through plastic globe around the gimbal. It's to my understanding that that globe is to protect the camera. However, I'm worried about the plastic, well, first of all, causing fisheye in the video or distorting in any way. Second of all, sun rays refracting and making a mess out of the video. The Mavic Pro cost $999, and its extra package, I forget what it's called, costs around $1,300. And that comes with the car charger and a shoulder thing, which is kind of like a satchel and an extra battery. Now let's talk about the Karma a bit. I was actually at Oppenheimer Drone Day, where the GoPro Karma also launched live the same time that it did in its main event in California. I saw a lot while I was there. Karma has a folding remote which makes it a lot easier to travel with because the remote protects itself from any damage. You don't need a smartphone for it. It's all protected, it's built simply, and it's got a bright LCD screen, which means it doesn't need a sunshade or anything to cover the screen while you're flying like most of the Phantom quadcopters need over the smartphones. Karma has an interactive walkthrough when you set it up, and that includes a fall-on flight simulator, so you can test your quadcopter and learn how to fly it without the risk of actually breaking it. It's easier to partake in extreme sports with, because it has a backpack, which is very convenient and easy to carry. Sure, the Mavic looks very easy to carry as well, but it doesn't have a specialized backpack. The GoPro pack is sturdy and easy to basically do anything with. And if you've ever seen Phantom packs or Inspire packs or other quadcopter packs, they're much larger, I can assure you. There's also a passenger mode, which seems pretty cool. Basically, you can install the GoPro passenger app on your smartphone or tablet or whatnot. And that allows you to watch through the feed of the Karma itself without actually having to fly it. So you can have your friend flying the Karma while you operate the gimbal control from the smartphone and you don't have to worry about operating the machine and getting the shot at the same time. Now here's a big plus, easily replaceable parts. For those of you guys who fly Phantoms and other aerial photography and videography machines, you know that they don't break often, but when they do break, it's a pain to fix them. Now coming from a hobbyist world, I'm used to these types of things, but most people aren't, and the GoPro Karma allows most people to fix their drones without any electronic experience. Basically what I was told by Colin of GoPro is if you're flying a little too hard and you crash into a tree going 40 miles an hour and you break their front left arm off, you can go online to GoPro, you can search front left arm, buy it, pull the arm out of your drone and click a new arm in. 
So essentially this removes the whole going to a store and having specialists fix your drone for you kind of thing. Now, the biggest advantage I see the GoPro Karma having over the DJI Mavic is GoPro grip. The Karma gimbal slides out. You can pull it out and plug it into a GoPro grip. Basically now you have a handheld stabilizer comparable to the DJI Osmo without paying anything extra than what you bought. Looking at some of the video that I've seen online from the grip, it's absolutely amazing. I am completely stunned with how far gimbal technology has come over the years. Nowadays you have a stick you hold in your hand that stabilizes everything and does it incredibly that if you feel like you can just plug into a drone which will take off and stabilize footage in the air for you. That, that's pretty crazy. The GoPro Karma is $799 if you already have a Hero 4 because it works with the Hero 4 and their new Hero 5 which they're releasing. And it's $1,000 to $1,100, I'm not really sure. It's kind of unclear if you don't have a camera. So overall, Mavic, Karma. They're around the same price range and they're both coming from very established companies. GoPro is known as the action camera company. You think of action camera, you think of GoPro. They're finally moving their way into the drone world. Now DJI is the complete opposite. DJI was initially a drone company. All they did was make the drone. They didn't make the camera that was on the drone, but when Phantom Vision 2 came out, they made their way into the optics world as well and started releasing cameras. So I think it's about time that GoPro took a stab back at them and released a drone, something that's been in DJI's domain for a while. Now what do I think is better? Well, that's a hard question to answer. Both of these products have their pluses and their minuses. Now I'm gonna make a bold move here and say, I wanna recommend the GoPro Karma to anyone who's in action sports, anyone who films a lot, 24 seven, people who are vlogger kind of guys, and people who do more than just drone videography. Now, with that being said, the Mavic is clearly a better drone when it comes to actually flying it. What really makes the GoPro Karma is the Karma grip. The fact that it's useful for so much more than just a drone. The Mavic can fly almost 50% longer than the Karma. The Karma can fly around one kilometer away. The Mavic can fly four and a half miles away. If you're looking for flat out better drone, get the Mavic. The Mavic has better GPS. It'll land in the exact same spot it took off if you use return to home. Whereas the Karma will land within a few feet. The Mavic has sonar and ultrasound sensors. When it takes off, it records the area where it took off to help it land there. It can use the sensors to avoid obstacles. It can use the sensors to fly indoors. And you can buy a freaking VR extension for it. So if you've ever seen those videos of drone racing on YouTube, well, you can try something out like that for yourself without going to an actual drone race or building a racing drone. Sure, it's not the same, but it's definitely somewhere to start. And for someone who's never done it before, it's gonna be really cool. And that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you found it useful, please go in the comments below and give me some feedback or leave a like or even click the subscribe button. Subscribing and helping my channel grow will help me do more videos like this in the future. If you enjoyed that and you're an FAV hobbyist, check out the rest of my channel. I've got tutorials, I've got products, I've got builds, I've got fun videos, and I'm working on more. And if you're not a hobbyist, but you want to be, stay tuned because there's more coming for you. Thanks again, guys. I'm Riley with DIY Things That Fly, and I'll see you next time. Okay. <laughs> Mama!